Yeah. <laughs> you excited for South Korea? I am. I know. Got a lot of work to do. I'm excited. This about to be crazy. 16 hours. 16 hours is insane. I'm not going to lie. We're live. So we're going to South Korea. Um, it's going to be a trip. It's going to be one for the books. Uh, going out there for a mixture of business and pleasure. We're gonna get some content and we're gonna do our thing. Now, as you can see, we got some nice little nice little meal here. Cause I'm starving. It's uh, our flight leaves at 12.55 a.m. So it's pretty late. But uh, yeah, we're gonna make it happen. I'm excited. So it's late. I think it's, it's almost one o'clock in the morning. We're finally on the plane. We're supposed to board at 12 o'clock and leave at 12 o'clock. Now we're probably gonna leave a lot later. We're finally on here. I'm ready to just lay down, go to sleep. Gotta see what kind of movies they got on here. Yeah, we're just excited to get to uh, you know, good old South Korea. Have a good time. It's time for some sleep. It's late. Still got a whole another seven hours. I had to wake up because I had to go to the I just feel up. Hey there. Would you like a hamburger? 10% off. Whatever that. Long way from home. I know, right? Long way from home. Where do we go next? Baggage claims are, so I guess we can look at this one. Wow, so cool. Oh, it's pretty cool, huh? Uh huh. Ready to get outside, get on a train. Yeah. I wonder what the scenery is going to look like between here and Daegu. Yeah. I wonder if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, okay, here we go. Carousel 6. 6 through 10 is down there. Yeah, it's way down here. Google. I'd like to have concerts in here, don't it? Don't they do like stages, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so we have our bags and everything. We are currently getting ready to get on this train and go to Seal Station. We're just waiting. Who is that? It's hey, okay, So we are currently at the train station, waiting for our train so we can right. go to Daegu. Very tired. Like a slight nap. With a slight nap slight on the way. Nap. So here we are. We just left the station and we're outside waiting on this elevator. We're getting on the elevator. Can we fit? Nah, I don't think we're gonna fit. <laughs> we can wait it out again. All right, guys. So we have finally, finally, finally made it to the room, and kind of want to give you guys a little quick room tour before I explain exactly what we're doing here in South Korea. So, as you can see, the door comes with like you gotta put in like a little code or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to remember the code myself. Boom. So you put in the code. Get into the dough, mind you. They got a camera out here, so we're gonna we're gonna get into all of that. Now this is a cultural thing. You take your shoes off when you walk in. Normally they supply you with some slippers. You walk right on in. Come to the bathroom last. Come in to the left over here. You got the bedroom. Sorry, it's a little little all over the place. My laptop is still uploading footage. You turn this way. You got a nice little camera. Cool thing about this thing over here, controls all of the lights in the bedroom. So as you can see, it turns everything off. This here is pretty much all of the switches and you can control them one by one. You know what I mean? Whatever you want to turn on, whatever you want to turn off. So that's pretty dope. As you can see, this is this looks like the, uh, the AC. It's in Korean, of course, but we do have a Translate app if we needed to use that. That is our bedroom. It's got also plenty of closet space all right here. This is actually a pretty deep closet. Damn. So it's pretty much an old walk-in closet if you did want to hang some stuff up, if you're going to be here for quite a while. We're only in this particular room for about three days. So there's that. You proceed back out. This entire wall right here is all closet space. So just to give you a quick idea, this is the Marriott, the resident side. So people actually live in these type of condos. So this is pretty much made for living. Now this pad right here got everything we need on it. You know what I'm saying? First of all, we're gonna turn all the lights on with this little switch. We have an alarm here. Uh, we can call downstairs if we need to. We can look at the camera, you know what I mean? Pretty much everything. But we do need to use the translation app for it because as you can see, everything is in Korean. Nothing's in English besides that up there. But uh, yeah, we've been eating PF Chang's quite a bit because that's our familiar food, but we have been trying food, so don't get me wrong. We've been trying quite a good amount of food, actually. Uh, but 
food has been phenomenal here. The team has been taking us around and pretty much just making sure we get the full experience. This here is our hidden refrigerator, uh, along with our hidden freezer. Proceed here, this is our living room area. Beautiful TV. We got this exact same TV at home. Uh, the exact same remote, come with Netflix, all of that stuff. Our little comfy couch. Now this here is pretty much how we get the whole view. Oh. So as you can see, let me take a step back. We got this entire view from the room. Super nice view. Yeah, we get this whole beautiful view. We can actually go out here. It's a little chilly right now, but you get the idea. This beautiful view. You see the mountains all the way over here in the back. Now I'm gonna take you guys to the final portion of the room, the bathroom. So before you even walk in, we got another panel right here that controls all of the lights in the, in the bathroom. So you hit there, it turns everything on. You wanna cut that fan off, press right there, and boom. Come in, you got a toilet here on the left. All of the switches are controlled here on the side or up here. Huge walk-in shower. It's got the rainfall thing or you can just use the handheld. Nice little deep tub. You wanna get in that way. Cool little mirror with that. Now I can get into the gist of exactly what I am doing here in South Korea. Ah, pop a squat for you guys. All right, so I know you guys are wondering, Ken, what made you want to go to South Korea. Now, I give you guys a breakdown. About two, three months ago, I got an approach with an opportunity uh, to come out here for a particular brand deal. And at the time, of course, I was a little nervous. I was like, ah, I'm not really sure. After having certain conversations and certain discussions, people with, uh, with friends and family and whatnot, I was encouraged to pursue it. I threw my name in the hat and I got selected. So here we are. Brand is Go Army. So I'm out here doing certain content that you guys will see with the United States Army here in South Korea at different camps. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to give it away too much. You guys just going to have to tune in to the, to the vlogs and whatnot. But yeah, that is pretty much the gist of what I'm doing here. Yeah, man, I'm just excited for the trip. It was a long trip, but here we are. We're going to make the best of it. And yeah, man, this is a reminder, guys, that no matter what, keep pushing. Keep posting your content. Keep pursuing everything that you want because you never know who's watching. And I had no idea somebody of this caliber was watching me. And I had no idea that I would be selected to do something like this. So I'm very grateful, very blessed. And here I am in South Korea. Just excited. Just excited. So I got a lot more content in store for you guys. Yeah, I hope you guys are ready for it. And you know, your boy Ken is back on YouTube, seems like. So let's get ready for it. And we'll catch you guys in the next video, man. And we can peace out, Ken Folk.